do we need to do a little bit of an overview since we're still waiting for F3s out of these guys? Um, Go for it. Okay, well, actually, why don't we just start, uh, I guess, talking generally. Um, I will make my way to the very first objective. Yep. Okay, um, the first objective is a really tight close quarters battle. Um, what you're going to see a lot of here is SMGs being used a ton. The defense is going to rush there as quickly as possible, put down a ton of mines. Um, turrets come into play, but it's those mines that are really game-changing. Uh, so defense, you're probably going to see at least one engineer out of the defense, if not two or three, depending on what kind of strategy they are running. Um, because it is so close quarters, um, grenades, super important, but also maneuvering all these, uh, what would you call them, like, uh, conveyor belts? Yeah, the, yeah, the conveyors, yep. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, these, these are, are really tough to navigate because there's all these bars and luggage all over the place, but a good light can hop around this room with ease and do some pretty cool um, wall jumping maneuvers and get some good angles on either the attacking or the defending team. Um, they work both as a great sort of defensive tool, but a, uh, a keen offense can uh, turn these conveyor belts and actually use them to sort of their tactical advantage. A really key point here, I don't know what you're looking at, but there's actually a window right above the objective that can be used both by the offensive and defensive people yep. sitting on the conveyor belt to shoot mm -hmm. down into the room to either clear the room out or to uh, defend it against someone who's trying to hack. Yeah, what's really hilarious is that there's actually a clip brush uh, for like the spectator cam can't get up there. <laughs> like I, I can get really? close to it, but yeah. But uh, I'm, I'm looking at it. Now, I, I want to just point out that these are the actual controls. So this is where the operative has to place their hack box. But um, you stay pretty much within this uh, enclosed glass room. You stay pretty well. Um, oh, hang on, we got a we got a question. But yeah, this room is very important to you know, keep up on turrets, keep up on mines, um, and actually we we're starting to see kind of standardized uh, turret placement over in the. Uh, oh, the they, they have a question about about uh, the side picking. Mm, you know what I realized is, is did we did we ever. Uh, Not make, officially. Make that clear. Yeah, uh, that that was that was our bad. You know, again, this is our very first tournament ever run, and yeah, okay. Um, a, a really popular spot is like, they call it the cubby. It's this little door right next to the objective where operatives often yep. hide out in while using the hack tool. Yeah, but it's also one of the first places you should look if you're mm -hmm. if you're trying to stop them. The good thing about it, though, is it's kind of hard to get a nade into um, as the defense, unless right. you come r right into the room. So it's yeah. kind of a, a nicer protected spot. But I mean, once your team goes down, you're going to die in a matter of seconds anyway. So and it's... I, yeah, I, I kind of feel like it was made that way, considering um, like just how close quarters this room is. It was like, okay, well, this is like nade haven, and so let's give a spot for the operative that isn't right near the objective. Like, do you ever how many? Do you still have full bars when you're in there? I think you have like four, but it's still yeah, really good, really quick. Yeah, so I'm I'm usually a medic, so I don't really know. I've only played an operative like once. Um, operative really underpowered um, as it stands. I don't know if we're gonna. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna see it very much in in competitive play though. I think once um, NG start getting those those mines down in really good spots, teams are gonna start going operative more just to to counter those mines. Or EMP uh, grenades. Yeah. 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 Who knows? I'm curious to see if, if Operative ever has a place in competitive play or it will continue to be ignored as it is kind of right now. Yeah. Oh, well, keep in mind that splash damage is, you know, pouring over everything. Yeah, um, they are. I mean, they, like, seriously, yeah. they're so responsive. Um, like, you know that, that stat site that's coming out? They're already using it. I mean, it's not really for us, not the back end of it. It's for them. They want to see, you know, what people are using, what's kind of being ignored. What's being overutilized, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Okay. Going hey, live in five. Go. So LG on security hubris on the resistance. And in All the, right. let's go ahead and run, run the run rosters. The yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do BLG. We got uh, Caddyshack, uh, Nice Snag, uh, uh, Webzy, and Scott and Waz for BLG. On um, hubris, we got Raz Crow. I uh, can't pronounce his name very well. Mela Kago. Uh, Matt Chomp. Mela Kagoo. Mela Kagoo, yeah. Mela Kagoo, gotcha. All right, so we're getting a huge push here. Wow, they're busting into the room really quickly. Yeah, I mean, this is... Uh, we're... Getting... Okay, we're getting some kills now. Chomp Crow getting two kills on here. Matt getting another one. Wow, they cleared out this room really quickly. I'm going nice to see. Uh, yeah. All right, so I, I'm going to kind of hang out and, and see where the... Uh, next push is going to be coming from. 
Oh, wow. Well, An uh, initial uh, uh, class gotcha. roster for Voiced. BLG is going to be two meds, two operatives, and one soldier. That's really good, except it's missing a single uh, engineer in order to get the weapon buffs. Mm -hmm. And as you I can see, everybody on Hubris is buffed up there. I am seeing an engineer. Wubsy is an engineer on mine. Okay, yeah, you just changed. Gotcha. All right, so it looks like BLG's trying to push through. Uh, we need to, at some point, sit down and kind of describe all these entrances. But um, I guess I would call it the, uh, from the def defensive standpoint, the, the right entrance. Yeah. I guess right lower would be and the better description. And everything else is just the wrong entrance. <laughs> <laughs> and we got a Lazarus toss. Already. Nice. And we've got two BLG coming in the conveyor side. Snag is got Oh, both of them taken down. That's yeah. Actually Unfortunately, really actually, we're seeing some staggered spawn here. We've got Waz and Wubsy moving in the uh, lower right. Uh, Caddy Shack moving in the lower left. Um, while two of their other guys respawn. And actually, actually Caddy Shack... Yeah, I mean, this is uh, pretty critical here. Matt is surviving, but he was one of the last... Uh, well, I guess, yeah, because Chump is down, and looks like Crow is still up, though, able to take yeah, down Scott. Yeah, they're getting Scott. Uh, Melik and you are coming in right now. They're coming down the up the right side, with regrouping with Matt, getting a revive sooner to Chump, so they're back full strength. Yeah. Everyone's up right now. Crow actually in a really, really good spot, crouching behind... Oh, he moved, actually. He's crouching behind that conveyor belt, though, which is just perfect, because you can see enemies come in, but they have a really tough time seeing it. Is, yeah, it is really hard to get a shot on someone hiding out there we saw last night is that hubris is really really good about uh defending the conveyor belt room and i'm actually kind of surprised we haven't seen an earlier turret go down but raz is getting one down right now and blg is going to be facing the brunt of that turret as soon as they make the next push it's already down though one nade all it takes yeah, yeah. and here's the next push kick down raz wow three of them coming in but hubris knows that nades coming into the room molotov toss flash bang don't know what's going on right now, but surely the room's been cleared out. <laughs> yes, the yeah, dead Chump. bodies litter the room. Yeah, Chump, Chump is, uh... has cleared it. Yeah, as Chump is known to do. You uh -huh. know, I, I noticed that, like, even as a spec, I, I've started to turn away from flashbangs. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you know, because I don't want the camera to be blinded for three seconds. Yep. Sometimes it seems like five, but I don't know if that's an exaggeration. It does seem like a long time in the heat of battle, I'll tell you that much. Pretty consistent head-to-head -head pushes into the conveyor belt room. Like yeah, I, I like to see some other routes, else, though. Yeah. yeah. Like, okay, it, here is my take on this room, and Matt, I'd like to get some feedback from you. Um, this room, to me, just s absolutely screams multiple attack uh, and simultaneous attack from many different angles. Because it's almost like uh, if you time it right, you can get crossfires as the attacking team and almost, almost easier than the defensive team. I mean, I, 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 maybe I'm, I'm overstating it a little bit, but what are your yeah. thoughts? Um, no, you definitely, you definitely are right. There's at least three really distinct attack routes. Um, kind of a fourth one as well. But basically, you need to attack from different angles. Like you said, even if, if one of the pushes is more of a distraction while your main push comes up and flanks them, causing the defensive team to overreact, that's just absolutely key. Um, right. Because the room is just so tiny, and just nades and mines and all of that just make it hellish sometimes to get a good push. And actually, we, we saw two or three trying to pop through the upper entrances, oh, but yeah. the problem I have with that was um, two of them came through the same entrance, and another one came through you know, the, the other upper entrance, and so everyone was already looking up. Like, like there was no... It, it was, okay, it's, it's not too much of a stretch to look up here and then look up here, because you're already looking that direction. I'd rather see something like a distraction through the upper port, and then while everyone's looking up here, then you push through uh, one of the lower entrances, and then you, you you catch people off guard. So that's, I think, a little bit of a mistake by BLG so far on these initial attacks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what I'd like to see is just uh, shake it up every now and then, do a five-man push, and let Waz go in first. Um, let him toss in a flashbang into the area that he's attacking, follow it up with a grenade, with a molotov, and then just have everyone bust through the same door and try to make it into the main room and try to scatter out in the main room after Waz sort of busts through. Um, I think that could be effective as well. All right, we got another push. This time we got Raz and Waz facing off. Raz goes right, down. Yeah, we, got, we got two coming in on the right, three coming in on the left. Uh, left push, though, kind of got put down. Yeah. Like, Oh. I, both of them got pretty well and That smashed. grenade was primed so nicely, I almost thought it was a Panzerfaust. 
Nice snag is one of the last guys up, and he is tossing syringes. And I've well, been fucked. Well, see, is going to be finally taken down by Melikagu. But this is a major firefight. We've got bodies being dropped down on both sides here. Problem is, it's going to be Hubris who has the defending crow yeah, as a medic to get everybody rest up. Really uh, good revives really quickly as well on that push. Just keeping the entire defense alive. Oh, wow. Nice. Nice Molotov right there. Yeah, I saw that too. That was, I think, Chomp right there throwing that. <laughs> crow decides to waste the Lazarus. <laughs> All right, yeah, and it looks like the push is dead right now. The only BLG member up that I'm seeing is Ska, who's on the upper level, sort of just peeking his head down. Yeah, and that's not terribly useful. He should just wait out. Actually, it, it really strikes me that a 2-3 split push between two on the conveyor belt room and three up top would be really effective. They've been doing if a lot of that right. now. Uh, yeah. they, they just push two to the... To the um, right side. Yeah, and Scott's gotten the call to take another route. I'm gonna follow him and, and see how this works out. Oh, he, he changed the direction again. Maybe to regroup with these pair. There we go. A little bit of buffing action. Alright, looks like they're pushing in now. I'm seeing a big push coming up here. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. be the right side for the offense, left side for the defense. Nat, though, has a nice conveyor. Uh, yeah. yeah. I don't like pushing along that room all that often. Like the actual conveyor belt corridor itself. It's, yeah, there's it's a, a bit of a grab. choke. There's a bit of a choke that uh, the uh, defensive team can really exploit. That being said, you know, we got uh, Wubsy able to finally take down Melika Goo. Chump <laughs> walks in right behind him and takes him out. Ska is up top, though. This yeah, is he's a... just gonna he's just gonna wait it out though until the push comes. And then he's gonna push in and flank the uh, defense from behind. This is good. I mean, even if a couple of Hubris players know that he's up there, he's gonna be distracting them for quite a while. Actually, I'm not even seeing any grenades uh, come up to him. So Scott's gonna be able to do quite a lot of damage up he's here. He's exposing himself the too much. One. Waz is coming in. Oh, but you see that took down map. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. Oh. That being said, the rest of the BLG push getting put down. The Waz does make it in. We gotta see Did some that grenade, grenade get anybody from Scott? I don't think so. No, uh, it, was, it was a nice idea, but it didn't quite pan out. And we see this thing shut down again. Guys, 11.45 on the clock. We've almost seen half the time burned away, and we have yet to see even a hackbox plant on the main objective. Again, that is this spot right here. And, uh, and even once the hackbox is planted, it will take ages for an operative in order to um, hack the progress that they need in order to move on to the next objective. Looks like Wubsy's able to take down Melkagoo and stops his self-revive. Moving in with Caddyshack, Raz and Nath are able to answer and take down both. They're taking out Chomp. Chomp actually gets one kill. Scott coming oh, around. Nice taking snack. out Chomp. Raz returning fire. Scott retreats. Uh, nice little skirmish there, but it looks like BLG actually making some headway. This is a full right hubris run. Yeah, this is a full defensive reset. Skaw getting another kill. This guy has quite a good aim, though. He's, they're getting the revives. Um, they need some backup from their team right now. Indeed. Yeah, it, it does seem like... I, mean, I don't know if it's Hubris that's able to get the... Um, you know, full kills. And, and you know, making sure that uh, they, who they kill stays down. Or if it's just that maybe the medics on BLG aren't quite getting the revives in. I, I can't quite decide that from what I've seen. Um, it's just a really hard room to break. They actually, BLG has had some really good pushes here, but um, part of the problem is, is not only are they getting the pushes, but Hubris is able to reinforce so quickly yeah. that they just haven't had just the sustained enough push yet. I think a major factor is when is Caddyshack entering the firefight in relation to the rest of his team? Since he's yeah. the only operative right now. And see what Waz is up to. And actually, Caddyshack is in first, and he's by himself. That is an issue. You know, you know, uh, no, he's actually with his team. Okay. Oh. Oh. And he's knocked off his feet, taken down by Chump. Caddyshack is still back there, though. He, this might be an initial plan. Yeah. If Chump can't get in and just kind of hold down the room until the rest of his team catches up, BLG might be able to take this, but no! Caddyshack is going to be overrun here. Oh, uh, he gets one kill though. Matt's the only one up. Uh, you're getting a four-man hubris respawn. Yeah, now now is the time. Spawn is so close. They're just hopping right down. They're setting up really quickly. 
I'm actually going to just stay right at the objective because um, Connie kind of did have the forethought to make sure that he did not um, step on a mine. You know, he, he sat there, spotted it, and took it out. So that did slow him up, and it also it, it forced him to reload, and that was when Matt was able to get the kill. So, um, you know, nice uh, sort of series of events, I would say, for Hubris. Able to hold on. And at this point, I, I almost feel like things are a little bit too harried because uh, it looks like Hubris has been able to reset uh, at least Chump and Matt, and they're responding pretty well, so... Yeah, they, they, it looks like their defense is being set up again now. Yeah, BLG, there's their second push there off of that uh, sort of nice reset of Hubris. Wasn't able to cause that much damage. That being said, Ska is just getting some kills right wow. now. Pro, though, um, very smartly just stays back and fires up from a distance, getting a lot of kills. Yeah, and, and, and using the cover, I mean, really, I think that's one of the things that, that Hubris is um, doing a great job of is making sure that you know while yes we have to cover you know five or so different entrances to this room let's make sure that we are unless we're chump we're never out in the open <laughs> but that that's <laughs> what chump does he he just he takes on armies and he usually wins so it's pretty scary in fact he's actually trying to spot the spawn wave and give him uh, give his team an idea of where they're going to go Tough to do though. BLG has got good shots and they made him pay for it. He ate a lot of damage before he retreated. All right, yeah, so and it looks like one or two of the Hubris players are actually breaking out of the objective room and pushing the fight outside, which is really dangerous for BLG. I mean, even if, down. if Hubris is taken out quickly, it's burned off time. Nice oh, headshots by Raz. Oh, wow. pair in a row. That revolver is just so deadly. <laughs> yep. Is that a yes, seagull? Yes, it is. Uh, no, that's actually the same as the uh, the other revolver. It's just a different skin for it. Okay, I'm, I, I'm still like learning the little icons. Uh, yeah. I, I've noticed that like all the guns have nice little icons, and I'm still trying to figure out what they all are. Yeah, the one you see the, the one most that you're gonna be seeing a lot is the carb. <laughs> yeah. Oh, of course. Wow, that mine took out two Raz. Gets a little bit of uh, e cred for that one. The other thing is, I, I like the way that Hubris is using this, you know, operative cubby. cubby. Yep. For reloads and, and, and other shenanigans, so. I don't even really see it used by operatives as often, really. I mean, if they're in there, yeah, cool. But more often than not, I see operatives, you know, hiding on top of the plant. The plant is actually a really good place to be on top of if you're hacking. Um, but NGs, medics, yeah, the, the cubby's a great place. Is it just All right, me? Another skirmish is, yes, yeah, kind of scattered around. What's up? Uh, do you keep seeing Lazarus grenades going off when there's like no no bodies to res? Like, are, are they just misfiring? It may be an imp grenade. They look very similar. Oh, okay. That's right. I guess they do have a different sound. You're right. Oh, we actually have a hack. Here we go. Caddyshack came in at just the Ooh. right time. And yeah, he's hiding in the little operative cubby there. Um, yeah, BLG setting up. BLG having great uh, aim now. They are going to be the ones setting up the crossfires. Just waiting for the defense to show up. Wubsy, oh, he put up an ambush. Not able to take him down, though. We got Crow and Chuck coming on the right side. Raz hopping down to the room. Caddy unhacks. Gets out his gun. Sorry, not unhacks, but puts away his hack tool. Takes down one Hubris <laughs> guy, but there is four Hubris up right now. Well, let's see how yes. far they got. Uh, maybe, what, 20? 20%? 20 something like that. That was really interesting because... A lot of it comes down to the geometry in the room and, you know, whichever team is holding it, they've got an advantage against whoever is trying to come in. Yeah. But BLG was swept through pretty cleanly there. Yeah. Well, I mean, Hubris' shots are ridiculous. Five, though, yeah. Dude, to be fair. Yeah. And actually, it was, uh, it was Ska who was kind of caught off guard with his initial attack, you know, just kind of throwing his balls in front of one of the major entrances. Ooh, yeah, you gotta be a little conservative on the, the defense. When you hold, when you get that room, you just gotta set up the crossfire. Yeah. Time to pitch. That's what that room is about. You get get on the conveyor belts. You get behind some luggage. Yes. You get in some corners, and you just suddenly have like three people setting up a crossfire from like two different entrances. Yeah, and then we're seeing Matt's uh, resetting everything. Uh, his mines and whatnot are, are down, ready to go. Uh, Hubris has completely retaken this, and I I kind of see a full. I'm selling a full hold on this objective, to be honest. Yeah, it's it's really rough to take this room, and he was just great defense. Again, I'm looking forward to the big patch. <laughs> now, yeah, I guess, uh, do you have any speculation? I'm kind of thinking spawn times are going to be the, the biggest Plus change. Five. Yep. 
That's the biggest thing I want to see. I want to see plus five and maybe. I'm still DLG kind of got the about... in this room. We got Wubsy wow. stacked yeah. up on the right side. Melikagoo is flanking around though. He gets one. Wubsy still up though. He's no. no. Oh, yeah, no. Melikagoo gets it done. Two kills. Nice job. That being said, they're kind of Jeez. thrown off. They're just setting up their defenses. They're getting their buffs back. Maybe the mines are down. Skull looks like he may be pushing in here. No, he's holding back. Waiting for everybody else to catch up, but that's going to cost them more time. Yeah. And they've got that that corridor really covered right now. Why is it going to be doing the initial damage? Wow, Melikagoo really pushing push out, get a little forward. too aggressive. Yeah, that was yeah. a mistake. That being said, the rest of the team isn't making the same mistake. So you still got four people um, fortified here on D. Raz pushing up a little, but as soon as he sees some guys, he pulls back. Good call. Yeah, I, I think that was a poke just to see the count. Yeah. A lot of times you do that, yeah, just to do the count. But also, if, if it's free, you're going to want to run around and flank the, uh, the other side. Yeah. You see a lot of chump, actually. Yeah. Actually, I'm popping out to see if Chump is going to make an appearance, but I don't think so. It's about three minutes left to go, guys, and right now BLG is uh, banging the heads against this first objective. All right, they're pushing in. BLG making their push. Nice. Oh, gets put down, though. Chump is getting some really good kills. Wow. Chump, yeah, exactly. Really good stuff. Was that an EMP grenade or a Laz? No, that, that, that that's... A yeah. That was a Laz, okay. Yeah, they, they do look kind of similar. <laughs> Has that snap, crackle, and pop at the end. Yeah. Exactly. I think the the pitch is slightly different. So, all right. So, um, I'm really curious though. When when things flip in the next two minutes and thirty seconds, I I kind of think just based what we saw Hebrews put together on the attack on this map, we saw them face off against Oso, and they kind of stormed it. Like it was, you know, yeah. it was yeah, sort of a. It's, it's, they're, they are quick and ruthless. They have a really good understanding of this map. I'm pretty sure this is Hebrews' pick though. So of course, that's, yes. you know, also had a few unwarranted deaths. <laughs> yeah, not pointing any fingers, Jar. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, yeah, Splash Damage is aware of that bug. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I see you last night. Yeah. Well, I, 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 I was thinking about making a little clip. Um, but unfortunately, I didn't catch it on camera. But right. had I done that, I would have made a little clip and like just, you know, loop, did, looped it and given it to Splash it's Damage. It's between Matt, and, Matt. And yeah, I, I saw it. I really wish I recorded it. Didn't have fraps on, sadly. Uh, yeah. It's okay. All right, anyway, so minute thirty. You may ask yourself, hey, why hasn't the defense just removed that hack tool? Why is that? <laughs> Okay, I'll go ahead and answer my own question. Uh, <laughs> we went ahead and added a gameplay rule that said you are not allowed to reverse any progress done by an operative. So that just unbalances the map a little bit too much. So that's just a gameplay rule that we hope will be um, become common in competition. And it's sort of and actually a lot of people have been really happy with the changes that we've made. I mean, there's been a lot of worry about okay, if we change too much about the game and competitive rules, it's just going to be like everything else. Um, so we haven't fundamentally changed the way, you know, the game is played. Just a couple of things that are, yeah, a little, a little crazy. So, 40 seconds remaining. We're going to see the clock wind down. And, uh, ooh, they finally get in for a hack. He's stuck on a mine, though. And that'll do it right there. Down fire, not going to save you when there's a nade on your corpse. So, um, yep, calling it out here, we have Hubris rocking... Very, very solid defense. I am curious, uh, of course, progress-wise, we're looking at about, uh, I don't know, 33%, maybe? Maybe a little more? So, uh, I, I, I kind of smell us at least getting to the next uh, objective with Hubris. Because um, I, I, I think their Quake Wars experience is really carrying over. Oh, um, yeah. You know, and, and like, do we know much about? I know BLG gaming. Well done, I know brothers. the name, but uh, do you guys? Over the place. Yeah. yeah, they have they have a few different teams. Um, but yeah, they have actually shown up and actually won some really good matches here. I really wa wish we could have seen the PCL and BLG match because apparently it was epic. Yeah, um, which is which is sad because we were ready to go, but we didn't have the server invite. They decided to play on a different one. So yeah, let's run no, the awards. Not going to be an issue tonight, though. Yeah, run the tonight. awards. We got uh, Melikagoo. As best overall, best soldier, Chump, Medic, Melikagoo, runs in again, Engineer, Wubsy. And best operative, of course, is Caddyshack, because, hey, what are you going to do with the hack tool? We got Raz getting the most kills. He gets the COD award.
basically, guys, this is stopwatch. We're going to see teams flip their roles. And so now Hubris will be attacking and BLG will be attempting to hold them off. And uh, this might be a considerably shorter match. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. So they're playing best of three right now, right? Oh, yeah. yeah this is just the okay. first map. So. Okay. Yeah. So we might not even see playouts if, if they get further. Um, I, I would like to see the game played out. You know, one thing that, that I'm really curious about is what scoring system should the community adopt? And I know that like Matt and I have been talking about this a lot. I've been trying to ask players what you know what their opinions are. Because there's, there's the old ET way. Basically, winning gives you two points. Losing gives you zero points. Um, a full hold, a double full hold gives each team one point. And you, and a, a win is considered the the first team that gets at least three points. So, you know, most matches are going to be, you know, probably 4-2 to two or 4 oh, right? But um, basically we're, we're trying to figure out how to deal with double full holds if they exist. But then again, there are mechanics in Brink that uh, my understanding is th th this is how they work. Progress is tracked internally in the game, and so you will actually see the... Um, win or loss cinematic and the mission successful unsuccessful depending on whether or not you had more progress made than your opponent at the end of the stopwatch round which is a really cool thing uh, and this works great as far as I understand for the escort objectives and for um, things like hacking and building objectives however where it falls apart I think are plant objectives. I haven't got a definitive explanation of how that works, but um, I think in the case that both teams get full held on a plant objective and are unable to set a time, then I think it unfortunately reverts to XP as, as the deciding factor of who wins, which is not something that anyone likes when it comes to competition. So. Um, we're we're trying to think of, of ways to to handle that uh, that rare case. The thing is, is like double full holds are really so so rare. Uh, we'll see. We're going live right now, so we'll oh we'll, we'll, we'll see about that. The airline is called Albatross. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Albatross. All right, here we go. All right. Nobody's gonna get that. I I, I get it. It's all okay. good. All right, By the way, guys, you're, you're, you're making hubris on security this time around, and we've got BLG. Making their initial setup for the defense here. Where is the first major push going to come from? Ska's peeking out to get a, a head count Ooh, here. I like Almost this. Gets his own head blown off. Already, Matt taking the conveyors, um, the, you know, the sort of on the uh, offensive side. Those conveyors. He does get taken down, but I, I like that he's already poking in there. Yep. And that. That angle for the initial push will give you a very, very, very early um, wow, hack way tool to down. clear out the conveyor room. Wow, it's already down, and we've already got some progress on it. It's going to be Chump hacking it up. It's taken down really quickly, though. Got less than a percent, I would say. Yeah. Well, let's actually run the rosters real quick. We got three medics for Hubris, uh, Matt Crow, and Melikagu, and then we've got Raz as an engineer, and Chump, as Jahar just mentioned, is the operative. Uh, and uh, Matt, you want to do BLG? Yeah, BLG, we got two medics. It's Nice Snag and Ska. Uh, Wubsy and Caddyshack are running the NGs, and Waz is the lone soldier. Yeah, so I think, uh, you know, pretty good, pretty good loadout. Um, I want to put out player to watch Ska. I think he's going to have some game, uh, some good performance here, so keep an eye on him. Okay. Let's see which way these guys are pressing in. Looks like Snag. Not able to take down Raz. Yeah, they're pushing it through the command host uh, area into the conveyor belt room. Uh, yeah, it looks like Raz is leading the charge as the NG, which is kind of good. He's a disposable class. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he can be recycled. That being said, Hubris has pretty much taken this over. They just need to deal with the mine. Wow. Actually, Chump walks around it rather than waste ammo Raz on it. getting a really good nade there. Gets in, gets Shit. one give, goes for another kill. They're not able to get it. Chump working on the hack right now. Got a good amount of progress on it. Ooh, looks like it might be, gonna be in the cubby, but he's gonna be swept on Oh, can Addy he get a revive? Shot. Yeah, Chump. Oh, and in that window, Caddy. Snag shooting down. Uh, Caddy. No. Yeah, well, what Caddy kind of progress in. do we have on that? 
We have about 33%. We're actually almost at the point where we ended last game, and we're only uh, two and a half minutes in. So fantastic yep. work so far by Hubris. I like that Caddy is uh, switching up his mine placement, and it looks like uh, Wepsi is doubling up on that effort. But again, it, look, at, look at Matt. Look at how he just owns that conveyor belt, and I love that because it A, draws the attention to him, B, it, he can call out the positions of everyone before his team uh, comes in. I mean, you can notice how he pokes in um, just before the, the team attacks. And in addition to that, not only does he call out where everyone is, um, but then he also, of course, by owning that passageway, uh, it connects the, the two main lower um, attack routes. So you can get from one side to the other really quickly, and uh, owning that space, I think, is really critical. So uh, I, I love what Hubris is doing with that. That being said, VLG putting up a good defense here right now. Indeed, indeed. We got Crow in front of Chump, but he's going to be taken down before the revive can happen. I'm actually going to be keeping my eye on Chump here because he's the operative, and my main question is not only are you expected to do the objective? I mean, how is he going to be helping out his team in other ways? Are we going to be seeing Caltrops come out of him? Mm -hmm. um, more amp grenades, etc., etc. That's the big question I have for operatives because they're, again, a little underpowered at the moment. I think I think we'll get some love. Matt does go down initially. He stuck out a little bit too soon. Here comes the push, again, from the command post side. And we haven't seen a lot of conveyor uh, upper drop-ins, have we? No, we haven't yet. Uh, question, are you able to uh, to hack take over a disabled turret? Uh, no, I don't, I think, don't so. No. think so. I think it has to be active. Yeah. Oh. Would be nice. That, that would be pretty cool. Like, if it just gives it enough health to, to turn again, if you hack right. it. <laughs> All right, that being said, BLG has held off yet another attack wave. Uh, 15, 33 on the clock. All right, uh, yeah, Hubris making the push here. It's through the, the little conveyor belt room here on the right side. Uh, they get some nades in there. BLG, get, oh, Crow, nice nade there on the defense. Just knocks it around the corner and takes down uh, Wubsy there. Yeah, but the push isn't making it in just yet. I can still see two Hubris, Raz and Chump on the far end. Melikagu tossing nades behind me. Waz, though, uh, using cover and just waiting for any sign of Melikagu. Oh, he sticks out his neck a little bit too far. Melikagu takes him down and gets the gib. So we are going to see potential. Uh, let's see, Caddyshack, last man standing here, facing off against Matt. Does go in and get the gib on Raz, so Matt doesn't have anyone to revive. Crow shows up. And now Chump is about to get the job done, except when... Oh, they're able to give him immediately! Nice job by Ska. Matt, you called it earlier. I think that was a very huge uh, game moment to, you know, get that give so quickly. And good focus, good focus by BLG to, to make sure the operative went down and had to respawn. Yeah, that so was a bit of a quiet moment for BLG. That's going to allow them to get their turrets back up in place, as well as mines. I just want to say, a normal player would have not gone for the gib on the operative. They would have gone for some kills, yeah. gone for the skirmish, tried to stay alive. Ska threw away his life, yes. But he, all he did was get a gib on the one class that he needed to give. Yeah. So, Ska. Oh. Although that being said, you know, uh, taking the command post would, would actually be a good idea. Because <laughs> you can just swap out and, hey, let's go get an operative. Whoever's standing. That actually is a pretty good strap because then you don't actually have to push with an operative. In fact, once you get the room, you can send back two or three people and actually do a mass operator. There we go. Progress. Yeah, here is a hack. Oh, knocked down, though. Oh, my Maybe God. Ska not... again. Wow. Killing everyone with a pistol, the, the revolver. Yeah, so. he got Matt and Chump with that thing. It's not a pistol. It's a fucking revolver. It's a <laughs> uh. Carb 9. There we go. Man's gun. <laughs> Yeah, Scott yeah, here he's holding off against Raz and uh, Chomp. He gets Chomp down. Yeah. Yeah, Raz not going to be able to get a revive. He's running in G. He's nice shooting there by Scott. Wow, that was a nice little skirmish. That was pretty Obviously, sweet. Bro coming in the other side now. Um, He's by himself, and he's getting flanked here by Caddyshack. But Caddyshack not able to get the kill. Crow makes him pay for that flank. He's going to push in now. There's a turret now uh, covering that entrance. His position. BLG now flanking up. Ooh, Ska, flank. Uh, Wubsy just got aggressive there, landed on a uh, nade by Ska. 
Mm. The interesting thing about this map is that it takes just about as long for each team to get to the objective room. Yeah. Unlike some others where the, the D kind of gets a lot of a lot of assistance. A lot of time. I'll call it assistance. Is that is that fair? Yeah, but it's the angles that are killer here. So this is it, a pretty good hold for BLG consider. He does get consider. there like five seconds earlier, which yeah. is kind of all you need when you're setting up initially. Oh yeah. All right, Crow coming in around. He's pushing up against Waz. Waz though getting the kill. Followed up by Melikagoo. He's coming in. Gets a kill on Waz. He's going for Caddyshack. Gets Caddyshack. Not able wow. to get Spa though. Yeah, you know, I have to say, uh, after the initial tap, which was less than three minutes into the game, uh, it looks like BLG has really stepped up their defense. Look at this. Caddyshack revived up. He's going to be able to take over and plant a mine. <laughs> nice it's in the Kavera Belt corridor. It's good spot. Yeah, there he you're going to get somebody with that shit. Can I just say how impossible this map would be if you could remove the hack tool? <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I've, I've played it, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, it hurts my brain just thinking about it. All right, here comes Chump. He's poking around, uh, and again, we're seeing the, the use of cover uh, back here by Snag. Yeah, uh, Chump, such a good player, though. He's getting in that conveyor belt middle area. Oh, they lose one of their players, though. It's going to make any push kind of hard at this Ooh, point. Ooh, yeah, we had Melikagoo timeout. Raz has also gone operative, though. This could be the extra... Whoa, yeah, we lost one. But that could be the extra push that they need, except, you know, being down a player never helps. But Raz is coming in middle. That mine... Okay, that mine's gone now. He's tossed out his own nade, and he's going to be taking a lot of damage here. Taking on down. Is there a medic nearby? No, it's not going to happen. He's just going to tap out. Good timing for it, though, since he respawns with two others. Indeed, and we have not seen a reconnect from the fourth, or rather fifth, excuse me, from Hubris. Dope. I would have expected to reconnect by now. Maybe they're running Brink on a Dorito. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe it might have been a computer issue as well. They may be actually resetting the computer or network thing. It's, a, it's that new i7 uh, Cool Ranch flavor. <laughs> Stop making me hungry. <laughs> Oh, uh, Raz is jumping down, gets oh, two geez. kills right off the bat. Oh, and that uh, mine, killing one of the teammates as well as an enemy. Got to be careful when you place down mines. You don't want to get anywhere near it, obviously. Two killing us, big issue. Nice job by Crow. He he just kind of... Uh, oh, <laughs> that's... <laughs> looks like he's sleeping on the job, but he's actually writhing Snap in pain. Time. Oh, we have Raz on the objective. Ooh. He's going to be tapped on out, though. By yeah, we saw the objective for a whole second. Well, they got some good progress here. BLG sort of all over the place. They're not really holding yeah. their line very well. I, I was about to comment on how spread out BLG is right now. Uh, it looks like they might have a few seconds to, to reconnect and still no rejoin. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Finally, we, we oh, see the good, connection. Good. All right, but that's that's a good two minutes lost without your fifth player. That's rough. We re we de definitely need pause. That's. We need pause, we need objective progress on the HUD, and apparently we need Jahara to be able to kill more people as a spectator. Oh, so, geez, we... Let's not dig that grave up. <laughs> but I mean, as, long as, as long as we can fix those problems and make sure that Jahar can like maybe take out half the team with a nade, <laughs> like maybe, well, you know... I tried, but when... everyone scattered. Let him <laughs> just summon sticky grades on demand so we actually... <laughs> there you go, yeah. Oh, Console God. command. Uh, Jahar spawns into the game, six sticky nades as soon as he gets near a, um, anyone playing. That's that's how it's going to go. I'm going to ask Batman to put that into the game for us. See, we'll Here's see the thing happens. though, I have not seen any sticky grenades. Like, EMP grenades are have been all I've been seeing from operators so far. No caltrops. Well, I, 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 I... Sticky grenades are kind of bad. Yeah, I, I, I think they're kind of a novelty and a pro player is going to be like, you know what, I want my abilities lying elsewhere. I'm going to be using my pips elsewhere. That being said, yeah, let's see. Ice. Yeah. VLG has been pushed back into the objective itself. Oh, all sorts of kills here by Hubris. Raz coming in getting a kill though. No, he's not. Crow from yeah. behind and Scott will clean up though. But we have a very weak objective at the moment. Eight minutes left on the clock. Actually, no, we already have five people already on the objective now. So it was weak there for a few seconds, but BLG picking up a defense really quickly there. Nice work. We have two coming right side, and Scott's actually taken down, but everybody knows that they're coming this way around, so Crow's gonna be a quick death. 
Actually, here they come in conveyor belt room. We got three guys pushing in right yeah, now. And, and Matt's right pushed side. the other end, too. And Matt getting that initial frag there. I mean, that is really going to unbalance things. So, Melagagoo. Uh, still need to say that like eight times fast. Matt's, Matt's coming out. through. Quick up and down, though. Uh, Crow, and Raz, and Matt. Three hole. guys up. Oh, Crow getting a kill. Mine though hurt some Raz coming into the room. Here's the hack. Getting some oh, oh, Matt goes down Raz. and it is oh. Waz saving the day. Wow, shit. Wiz, oh, the, the Crow, no, I think Crow just self revived on the other end of the hallway. But Snag will take him down. The percentage, it's still kind of iffy. We don't actually know if this is more progress. Did, it, did anyone get us? I, I, think, I think it is a little bit more interesting. What was that, Jahar? Did anyone get a screenshot? Of? Oh, the, uh, the, the progress? Yeah. I, I think I think we're okay. Okay. I mean, I, I have the V of D, so. Right. You know, uh, we, we I mean, for just judging between, you know, progress. I think, I think it's okay. Yeah, we're, we're going to be okay. <laughs> All right, Chomp's on the objective now. Crow and Matt are his two guardians um, right here. Uh, Crow going down, Scott coming in. Oh, we got a defense, though. Chump and here Raz are on it. Raz and Chump, we got two oppies. Oh, post op by nice. Indeed, it's a shame because I think if one had just stuck with his weapon and tried to defend, that would have been a little bit more productive. But either way, it's around thirty-three percent. No, no, we're at fifty percent. <laughs> oh, Scott, if you're checking this out, he's like, okay, I'm just gonna hang out outside their spawn. Yeah. Okay. Why? What? Why not? He's got his Cillian Murphy mask on. Oh, here he comes. He sees Matt out alone. Bye bye. Kills him. Not? Yeah, it's like free kill. Thank you. And actually, you know that that actually worked out really well because Matt has been the guy that's been doing a lot of the flanking, uh, yep. a, a kind of counter to the main push. So I'm, you know, maybe that's a little bit of an adjustment by BLG. I can get some revenge on Scott. Nope. No, denied. I actually really like where Caddyshack's turret is. It's easy to ignore on your way in, but once you're in the objective glass, it's going to be a problem. Indeed. Being said, I wonder if it gets a lock on through glass, because it can be... I don't think it does. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you can't see through the glass, then it's just that window. All right, but we got a hack on Chump. <laughs> Chump taken down from a nice distance by the Richie. Gotta say, Seagull's gonna go down at the hands of the Richie Revolver. <laughs> Keep dreaming. I'm not dreaming, I'm watching. <laughs> Alright, we got yet another push from Hubris. From the command post side, Wubsy is trying to clean up. But he gets blindsided and does not see the... Oh, wait, hang on. I, wait, what? what? What did I miss here? Caddyshack? I'm, I'm looking at shots from Caddyshack. Who the hell was he shooting? Anyway. Looks like he was shooting his teammate in the back. It's all good. That's what all the cool kids do. <laughs> Might have yeah. actually been a disguise, maybe. <laughs> Somehow doubt that. And just a, just as a side note, my wife is so cool that she's totally watching this with us. Oh yeah, <laughs> of yeah. course. All right, we got one coming from up top. Actually, we're not seeing enough pushes from the top of the map, but yeah. look at this, the conveyor belts, they're in the fucking trees. <laughs> This is nice. I mean, you can totally swarm, get behind the room, and start to do damage from several angles. Scott's gonna be the one to try to flush out the conveyors, though. Nice job by Raz. Raz might be able to flank here. He needs to take down Snag again. Oh, Raz goes down. Too bad. And look at this BLG just cleaning up three minutes and 42 seconds. That being said, though, um, progress-wise, Hubris has won. Uh, it, it's kind of sad. I would have loved to see them get beyond the objective. I want to see a Curia objective, damn it. <laughs> we have yet to see that on Brink TV in a stopwatch mode. Whoops. Oh god, I'm watching IRC. I'm never going to be able to live down last night, am I? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> and Crow trying to get Chump up. It's a little bit of a nade. Chump's gonna come back in for more action. Three minutes on the clock. Oof. That's a big shot right to the face. Chump will go down. So, yeah, you know, again, we still have yet to see the um, sort of coordinated 
let's enter this room from all angles type of push. And yeah. I'm very curious about you know how what that's going to look like uh, when when teams get a chance to practice it and, and try it out, see how effective it can be because. Um, yeah, one of the biggest points that I see brought up, which I, I think needs to be re repeated more often, is that it's easier to develop a good defensive strategy before developing a good offensive yes, strategy. Yes. And so some of it is, you know, game mecha mechanics balance, yes, but I again, setting up a good defense is so much more intuitive for anybody than it is to, you know, coordinate a good attack. Top window. I love that. Can so Shump much. do Shump it? Like, no. I can hack, I can hack. Can Melika Goo get the revive? No. Alright, guys, two minutes left to go. And Hebrus has been held off, but they have gained more progress than BLG, so technically they have won this round. And Reactor was the second map? That is true. Nice. So, yeah, we're going to see more hack objective action, but a very different landscape and the potential for two. However, Reactor is even more defensively favored than this map. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, I don't know. I, 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 I can't dehack actually hurts that, in my opinion. I, I cannot wait to see. Yeah, because because you're stuck with having to go to one side. Yeah. Yeah. Um, once the hack box is down, yeah. But I mean, that's a tactical choice. You know, you got to make a choice. Um, but th that being said, uh, I, I'm really kind of excited to see. Um, you know how how Hubris sets up on that map. Indeed. Indeed. Yeah, some really nice defense here at a BLG. You're definitely seeing uh, kind of the point that a lot of competitors are being making right now, that maps are defensively sided, but it's just really interesting to see how, like, both teams had very different defenses, but still, they were both really effective. Now, and I want to I want to say basically maybe help uh, people who aren't used to competition. If we have viewers that aren't really in the competitive scene, understand why it's important for maps to actually be a little bit biased towards the offense. The reason why is the whole point of stopwatch is to essentially set a faster time than your opponent. So it's not necessarily about whether or not you can hold them off from all the objectives. Like that's nice, you know that that's a great feat, but um, it's actually about being more efficient. Uh, at getting the objectives done than your opponents. And so that's why we're hoping to see uh, over the course of a couple of tweaks that I, I'm sure that Splash Damage has been collecting data about. Um, we're going to see uh, maps become maybe a little bit more offensively biased, probably through some respawn changes so that, you know, I imagine those are going to be, be pretty easy tweaks. Outstanding. Yeah, but, you uh, may not know it, but there's actually uh, three more objectives to this map. Right, so exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, um... You know, I, I'm hoping to see as those changes get rolled out. Um, it should be pretty, should be pretty uh, awesome when we start to get to see every objective rocking and rolling. So let's take a look at the awards. We got best overall ska, and I think he absolutely deserves that, given the number of times that he was in the clutch. We got best soldier of Waz, medic ska. That makes sense. Engineer Wubsy, operative chump, of course, and ska also getting the most kills award. So not only did he show us that he could play Brink, but he could also play Call of Duty. Good for him. Um, <laughs> or Counter-Strike. Yeah, I don't Different know. map, more defensively biased. However, there is more angles that the offense can attack from. Yeah. yeah. And, and okay. Well, There's some pretty killer crossfires. One, one thing that's really different, though, is um, while Terminal was one of those maps that was extremely uh, close quarters... You are yeah. you feel very claustrophobic when you're actually on the objective. This map, everything, um, you know, you've got a little bit of an enclosure on either side of the objective, but you have a lot more open space. Uh, you have the the ability to do some. Oh, actually, these these are closed in the moment. Um, yeah, you, they are. Yeah. That's odd. Can I fly through? No, that's a shame. Uh, you have the ability to do some like long range sniping and things like that. It, it, there are some windows outside of the main objective windows. Um, the uh, doorways that, that I can't get through. But let's talk a little bit about this first objective. You can decide to plant on uh, this airflow control panel here or this one that mirrors it over here. Uh, but because we do not allow de-hacking uh, in our tournament rule set, that means that once a hack box is down, the offensive team is committed to that side because you cannot place a second hack box on uh, an objective even though there are two hack points. So, 
Uh, that, in my mind, really becomes a tactical choice. And uh, Jahar or Matt, what are your thoughts about which side they should choose, if you have any sort of preference? I've always favored the left side from the uh, from the aggressor's point of view, just because entering it, you have another route open to you to kind of cut below and into the middle of the objective room, and you don't have, you know, a machine gun nest facing you down the whole time. Yeah. I would, however, love as a tweak to this map, see a way for skinnies to get into the bridge control room without having to go through the objective room, like being able to vault up and go through a window. I would love that so much. Okay, yeah. Because it would take attention away from the actual objective room for the defenders, and they would need to pay more attention to the bridge control room or else, you know, pay a price for it. Now, yeah, um, yeah talk a little bit about, about those bridge controls, and <clears throat> obviously I can't fly out and go take a look at it, so just uh, right. maybe describe it in words. Well, it's in the, the top middle of the objective room. There's a, a stairway that goes up there and a little S-shaped corridor, but if you can complete a construct objective on those controls, then it extends a bridge allowing uh, just a, a very, very nice quick way into the top of the, the objective room. And the thing about the objective room is that usually the defense can hold down the top tier, respond to either side very quickly, and just maintain tactical advantage. And having that bridge extended really changes the balance of that room in a positive way for the aggressors. Yeah. But getting there right now is such a bitch because you have to go through that heavily controlled objective room. Yeah. So if there was a way for just a skinny engineer to get up there and inside, that I would, I, I, I see no downside to that. Are, are we sure that there isn't? I, I, I haven't really yet. Yeah. There's, there's no tried. way. Okay. Because, I mean, I have to say, I, I've noticed that, you know, some, some videos I've seen, people are starting to find different routes and things like that. But I, I, think, I think we got committed classes here. Uh, yep, there we go. We, there's the countdown. So we got Engineer, Caddyshack, Medic, Nice Snag, Engineer again, Webzy, Ska as a Medic, and Waz is going to be supporting the Soldier Kit. <clears throat> Jahar, you mind doing Resistance? Yeah, absolutely. Let me cut back over here real quick. On Let Resistance, we've got quick. Hubris. It's going to be Melikagoo, Matt, Raz, Chump, and Crow, of course. And we got, uh, yeah, Medic is Melikagoo, and Crow, and then Engineers, yeah. Matt and Raz. And of course, the Operative is the Objective class, and that'll be Chump. So, similar loadout to what we saw last map, as far as Hubris is concerned. Alright, the key is to move in low, move in fast, and take that upper part of the map. Uh, near yeah, the this upper platform, here. yeah. Yeah, it's absolutely key for both the offense and the defense. They need to secure it, they need to push it, they need to get some good nades, some good crossfires. So let's see uh, what they can put together here. Hopefully this they can is, take it. This is another map where the initial push is really uh, important. Um, the security on the defense has a longer way to go for the left-hand side from the offensive point of view than the right-hand side. So they usually rush up right side. Uh, actually, and Raz and Melkagoo are taking the um, the lower stairwells, and, and they've moved in from the internals of the map. And of course, I like the fact that they chose this side to plant on because they have the opportunity um, to, to use these... Uh, whatever the hell generators on the side yeah. to quickly get up to the top. So I, I like that choice of of uh, hack placement. And Raz has got the, the tool down. So they've committed to the left hand side, which stands to reason. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, uh, again, their initial pushes are, are really strong. It's able to get that hack box down. You don't always see that happening. And they've gotten about maybe, I don't know, two or three percent done, you might say. But Matt, you with us? Yes, I am. Uh, sorry, yeah. just kind of watching the action. It's really quiet right now. Uh, it is at the moment, but we got Melikagoo and Raz <laughs> pushing the left side. Everybody else is going right-hand side, though, so this is going to be a fairly difficult thing to coordinate. But if these two guys can make that happen, then all the better. Melikagoo's going to be getting a quick revive, covering with some fire. Whoa, no, he had to tap out. I guess he was gibbed. These guys yeah. are getting good at gibbing. I, yeah, I know. I, I find it so funny how people are like, man, it takes so many bullets to give somebody. Not if you remember that you can still shoot them in the head. Yeah. These are these are important things to, you know, to remember. And I, I, it's almost hilarious to listen to, especially the console kids. Oh, look at this. Excuse me, though. I'm going to interrupt myself. Crow coming through the back door and um, not using lube. I, I still see the biggest thing for the defense here for resistance is the fact that they're able to hold down this top middle platform. It is so so important. Dude, look look um, at look at this. They have it, man. They friggin' own it. Yeah, they do. 
And Raz is hacking. Matt goes down. Matt's taken down though, as is that turret he just got up. So that turret's gonna be a no-show. BLG is gonna be swarming on in here. We are hacking away here. I'm gonna focus on Raz as he is the objective class getting it done. Waz is trying to get shots in, but nice use of cover. Um, again, it uh, looks like BLG is going to try to retake the top platform first. <laughs> and it will be Ska able to get the kill in on Raz. And there's a curb stomp in order to keep that operative down. 16.46 on the clock. And we already have a hack of about 40%, I would say. Yeah. But we got BLG retaking the room, however. Yeah. And they're actually able to use the corridor that goes over to the bridge control room as kind of a kind of a, a recoup place. And even more importantly, look at this, able to do damage from up top. I mean, that room is so, so Oh, cool. I know. I, I, I love it. I mean, it. this is my pillbox whenever I play. Yeah. I don't know about totally. you, but it's, yeah. I mean, it, you have to be careful when you when you start focusing on, on your target because, you, you know, they can shoot you. Like, I, I love the design of that, of that room, how it's really useful. Uh, for cherry picking, but then you also expose yourself in almost every instance that you do uh, oh, yeah. um, you know, in order to take a shot. So, really nice. Just an update uh, from elsewhere. Holly's team uh, taking the first map. Nice. Okay. Uh, just so you guys know, my internet's being a little bit weird, so uh, I'm going to stop talking if I start like losing connection. If, gotcha. I, if I sound okay. low quality at all, just let me know. Okay. No, you sound good. Okay, cool. You sound sexy as always. <laughs> Waz yes. playing kind of a uh, of a rear D right now, wanting to keep control of the stairway that comes in from the the under passage. Caddy Shack is going to be seeing a bit of damage up here, but right now we got three man push from Hubris on, on, on the other side, on the on the yeah. hackbox side, and I'm blinded. Wait, on the non hackbox. Oh, I'm side, yeah, I'm sorry. I yeah. I, I uh, got turned around a little bit. Uh, Caddyshack was not quite sure whether he wanted to care about the players or his turret. The turret was uh, making do eyes at him. Made the wrong choice. <laughs> He's going to be taken on down. But we've got, holy crap, Ska doing a ton of damage right now. We've got three players down from Hubris. And that's going to be a, a bit of a, of a spawn reset for them. Crow was able to get it done, though. Chump and Crow Chump. are still together, though. They are still yeah, working this. We got a, a strong soldier and a really good medic here. Oh my god, Caddy Caddy Shack, from, oh, from behind. Raz from behind. Oh. Next! Who's next in line? It's like a lemon party in here. It's a train. <laughs> now, okay, I, I have to say, nice uh, snag. Great positioning, using this doorway as cover and just poking out and getting long range shots. Very well uh, positioned, not exposing himself um, hardly at all during that fight. I, I really appreciate that kind of uh, finesse. So. Yeah, and showing off his Richie. Always cool points. <laughs> and we have not seen another touch on this hack, I don't think. No. And it's that BLG all regrouping up top. Yep. Where all the cool cats hang out. I, I mean, this well, really is this. sort of a good... going around the side. This is good. Okay. And it really is like a good starting point for the D. Um, you know, if you start from that upper... I don't know if you guys uh, see this, but Raz and uh, Melikagu are pushing into the bottom portion. Uh, Ooh, nice. Up nice. Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, although, I think we might see... Yeah. I'm waiting for him. Raz is coming out. Oh, flashbang. And they're here. Here comes Crow. Chump takes over the upper platform. Uh, this is on the non-hackbox side. Oof. Raz is still afoot, though. I think they cleared out BLG. Wow, look at that. Fire. They totally did. And the turret, while up, is not going to be cranking around far enough to see. So here comes Scott. Can he get Raz down? Matt's going to protect him. And Raz, Raz will continue the hack. Maybe yeah, I mean, in these cases, if you can hold down one side of the pillar, um, your operative can use the other side of, for cover. Yeah. Uh, we need to see Nades coming in. That we need to get knockdowns. Otherwise, Raz is going to complete this thing. We're at about 80%, 90%. Oh, man. I think we're going to be moving on to the, to the next objective. Kind of excited. Oh, Raz wow, yeah. It looks like it's going to be it. Oh, no. Yeah. A few yes, more seconds. Yes, yes. Coming to Raz. <laughs> He's running around the pillar. Go oh, God. Run, 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 run. Oh, he oh. lost his hack tool. He took out his gun. There's about, God, 10, 15 seconds left. Wow. No but it is at the last legs. <laughs> wow. But Caddyshack trying to reset mines and get set up again. 
Uh, he and Ska are the two Matt guys... Was harassing from a distance, making the defense not being able to set up any defenses directly in front of this door. Nice. And there but we go. Here, has got his turret uh, up on yeah, the objective. Teammates. They're, they're rebuffing each other. They're pushing in. We got Melikagoo, we got Raz, and we got Matt. Wow, they're, they're taking going the down below, but Caddyshack saw cool. it. Because they're not rushing in. They're, they're not getting caught in the moment, saying, oh, we only have a few more seconds. <laughs> right. Right. They're Look, developing the strategy as they know it, and they are pushing up. We got Rise, we got Melkagoo, two men up top, crows up top. They have this is it, this is it. Down goes Nice Nag. They're gonna, they're gonna oh, do it right here. Oh! oh! Get the revive, and Raz is still up. But oh, he goes down! Raz with the Richie. Wow. Well, I'm Raz. actually really surprised that push got as far as it did because Caddyshack saw them going downstairs. They needed to be on top of that. Look but... at that, I mean, that it's 99%, man. Oh yeah. my god. 99%. I have not been able to say 99% on a broadcast in a long time. <laughs> I miss that. Yeah. This All right. thing just wants to be hacked. Yeah. You gotta, gotta stroke it. Say nice <laughs> things to it. You just gotta poke See, this it. Would be, this point. So much blood loss would be saved if these guys knew how to tunnel SSH. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah, seriously, boost your wireless gain. Get that shit done. They don't know computers. They got a computer right at their stairwell, like right at the spawn. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Still do this shit. Yeah. All right, so here comes maybe what could be the final push for this objective, but every minute that gets shaded off the clock is less time that Hubris has to work with on the second maybe objective. Wow, look at that hack box just sitting there. I know, it's, it's taunting us. Raz is... So, we're still going to be looking for Raz and Mel to be the dream team here, but currently they're separated. Raz is going to be kind of stuck here in the corner. I think he's waiting for a call. So, yeah, uh, but he's got his back to the enemy spawn. Well, they died, so you don't got to worry about them coming up. All right, so and, and here's the, the push on the other side. And this has been a pretty effective strategy. Uh, pushing... Oh, Ooh. Now, Raz taken down by a beautiful nade. That okay. was a perfect grenade. Wow. He still got his gun out. Come at me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Crow's going to seek him out and get him up. Really? This is what happens when you don't gib. Nice. Raz is still behind enemy lines. Oh, that's what real men do. Let's see if Raz can get in there and get the final 1% hack. Pro looking for it. Nice nade. Raz has to back off. We're going right, to see. Chump and Matt are pushing in the other side. Yeah, this is it. They got to do this right now. Time is ticking. Two medics, one oppie. I like the combo. Oh, Raz, Raz wastes his life. Yeah, that was. Whoops. Yeah. Whoops. So close. But Nice Nag is looking for free damage up top. Chump is right below him. He doesn't know it. Dude, you know what I'd like to see? Five operatives. Just, yeah. just fucking run in there and just... whip out the hack tool. Get it done. Why not? I like Why where not? You... At this point, Wait. yeah, it may be it may pay off to get a little crazy. You know, if you got f you send four guys in to shoot, one guy in to just get his hack box up and try to protect him. Just I'd be really that thing a couple of times. Do do some of that. Yeah. Well, that's not how to do it. Or or maybe oh actually you know what I would do? Throw a soldier in that mix. Dude, you could fucking hack this thing in the time it takes for the a really good flashbang to wear off. Just yep. flashbang the crap out of that room and get in there. As long as you're right. Well, we're right seeing another push here. It looks like Crow and Chomp pushing in through the uh the right side. Ooh, oh, Melkadoo oh, kills Raz though. TK. Chomp has it cleared nearly. Get over to the objective side. Raz is Chump inside. Raz. Oh, he wants to go for it, but he knows one more is there. Ska sees him. Malikagoo from him. above, though. Raz is going upstairs. Come on, this Raz. Good. Good call. He's got the jump on. He's got. Down oh, down. he flanks, but a turret oh, stops turret. him. Holy shit balls! Oh. Caddyshack's turret just got MVP, motherfuckers. Oh wow. Oh my god. <laughs> that was done. That was so fucking done. If not for that turret. Holy crap. Wow. That is just wow. Yeah, I've never seen a turret track that quickly. He had Raz's number. <laughs> okay, so are we going to see this hack actually finish? You know, the time is ticking. 
Into the future. Yeah. That's not a good sign. All right, we got we go. Raz, Raz and Melikagoo. They're they're doing Dream their team. old strat. They yep. know how to push these stairs. Operation Enema. <laughs> nice timing on the nade. Crow actually gets killed because yeah, of it. The engineer who dropped that at that mine is gonna know that they're coming now. Actually, he didn't kill it. They just oh, wow. it, so he doesn't know. What was he just flanked and took out the rest of the uh, the other half of the push opposite from the hack box? That, that's done. It. Okay, that being said, Snag went downstairs. He knows the two guys are down there. Caddy oh, from the Caddy takes Raz. down Mel. The medic is down. Raz is by himself. And, uh, ooh, knocked down by that mine. Forgot about that mine, didn't you? Yeah. Sadly already being replaced as well so six minutes 30 and hubris is getting held although they have of course uh quite a bit of progress so they gotta feel pretty good about that raz and mel pressure still on them raz is moving out first though mel needs to be a little bit closer here Let's see if it's skinny is running so fast all right emp in holy crap he's just gonna go for it he's just gonna go for it oh turret again Raz, have you learned nothing, my friend? Yeah. Although, yeah, although that being said, he was not gibbed. Oh, he finally was. Chump arriving just a second too late. And taking out Ska, though, if they can get a quick respawn, Chump oh, has yeah, just cleared it. Oh, yeah, taking out Waz, too. It is clear. Yeah. Oh, it this is, is clear, so painful but... to see. Caddyshack, Snag, and uh, Ska coming in the left side right now. They're, they're busting right in. They're going to try to storm that top corridor. Here, here they come. Here they come. They're just going to rush this. EMP nade down. There we go. Mine's down. What about the turret? Raz what has to survive. Okay, so he's got a buff at least. Raz wow, is, nice has Raz. cleared it nearly. But what about the he's turret? going in for the objective. Oh, and he's Gibbs. Whoopsie. Oh, my God. No, they get the Gibbs. Seriously, they need another operative. They need yeah. to coordinate yeah. that shit. Yeah. Need one EMP down for the mine, one for the turret, and just do it. But actually, yeah. the turret's down at the moment. Is Caddyshot going to get a quick repair here? No, because Chump has here been in come. this hallway. He finally goes down. I think Caddy was going to check on his turret, actually. Yep, there it is, the repair. That turret is so repaired. <laughs> yeah, another op would be good here. Yeah. Wow. They've had this for so long. Oh, yep. The defense just taking it to the next level. Okay. Turret. Shoot the turret. <laughs> mm. Mel's down again. Raz actually broke off from that completely and went upstairs. Which really calls into question... Okay, yeah, Caddyshack takes him down. Which really calls into question that first EMP grenade. Ooh, because Chomp now... getting a double kill right there in the hall. Oh, mine takes him out, though. Yeah, I, I'm amazed at this hold by BLG. I expected those to at least get onto the second objective ages ago. We may even see a hold with only four minutes left. They may very well keep this objective under wraps. Crazy. And there's another thing. I mean, Raz throws out the EMP, but by the time he comes back into the room, they're they're back up. I'm like, he could shoot them, but uh, another op. Hell, make it a heavy op. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but Chump, I'm gonna be looking for Chump to toss oh, out. Oh, nice, back. nice knockdown. Nice. Or actually, well, no, not, not so nice. There we go, Molotov for the knockdown. Crow's down as well, however. And Webbs is gonna be back up with the last grenade. Er. So really good coordination by BLG here. Question is, can they get it done? Raz but... is still alive. And here we go, we have the move in. Raz is going the other direction. It's cool. But, oh, the turret's down. Waz is the last one up. Caddyshack coming from the rear, though. He's finally taken down by Matt. Beautiful seagull work, but Raz needs to do it. Do it right now. And Where is it? And oh! Come, come on! on. Yes! yes. Oh, 99 it's fun that you put off the controls. I have to say <laughs> some really nice pushes by Hubris. It just sucked that they got it so far, and then they just were not able to turn it around. Yeah. <laughs>
So what's the second objective on this map again? <laughs> it's a bomb objective. Soldiers. Yeah, this yeah. Is, this is a tricky portion of the map. It completely changes dynamics. It's a yep. this vast indoor system. There's all sorts of flanks, um, command posts just everywhere. It's a it's kind of a confusing map. I've only played this map about 10, 11 times. Never been this far in a scrim, so I'm kind yeah, of interested. It's, it's definitely a corridor G. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice one. All right, so this is the objective. Uh, I'm looking at here with Raz and Crow and Matt. Uh, you have to plant uh, on this central panel here, and you can plant on uh, on either side of it. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is actually a really good defense by BLG. They're all sticking back in this room, which is exactly how you want to play. You don't want to play any forward defense. Jump is down. Jump is alive. Crow's also up there. So Planting. here comes a oh. plant. Oh no! Down Caddyshack. fire, Caddyshack. Oh my God! And the Gib. <laughs> Awesome. Fuck you. He's still alive too. And look at this. They don't see him as still alive. Like I, this is kind of hilarious. I, I don't think teams have yet quite, you know, spotted what down fire looks like at all times. This guy is just like, gonna sit here and call shit out. And now Raz is gonna die. <laughs> that was a perfect push too. Yeah. I mean, they, uh. they, they pretty much had the plant. They were ready to go. So yeah, one minute now. Why is Mel? Why? Why Mel? Go make good movies again, Mel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we're seeing push coming up here. Could Looks it like Mel, Kagu, Matt, and Chomp are actually Bro's pushing. making yeah. a half. Oh, okay. oh yes, he is. Down, but we got Caddyshack and Webzy for the disarm. Yeah, that's done. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not that sure was a bad push a by Crow. Like I'm that. sorry. That was. It was kind of amazing he got the plant in the first place. Well, you know, as, uh, as progress goes, though, that actually was a really smart move. <clears throat> because, you know, if, if the game tracks that particular, you know, act of planting versus a team that doesn't get one down, then that secured them the win, if you think about it. I mean, that, that's not how we do it. We, we, on bomb objectives, that we don't do progress. I know, but I'm just saying, like, if I, I don't know if the game tracks that. Because I mean, I've, I've never gotten a clear answer from Splash Damage, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, but if it awards a team a win, we don't know if it's going to be based on XP or progress, so we're just not going to do that for bomb objectives. That's what yeah. was my understanding. All right, so that, that's going to wind this one down. And, uh, of course, we're going to see the team swap sides and see what kind of answer to that time, well, or to that progress, I should say, uh, we're going to get out of BLG. Yeah, I'm really interested. I, I, I'm not sure who picked what map. Was it was last map Hubris's pick I, and this is BLG's pick? I think Hubris picked Terminal. Okay. Uh, that, that being said, I have an update. Uh, Holly's team has won 2-0 over, over Exalt. So, all right. We'll be seeing uh, L4S looking for sponsor um, Holly's team in the final versus the winner of this match. Uh, it's coming down to this round right now. That being said, yep. we're going live in 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Let's run the classes we Ooh, have. Whoop. We have Hubris, Melikagoo, Medic, along with Crow. Matt and Raz will be our engineers. Jump as a soldier. And Jahar, if you can do the damage for BLG. All right, for BLG, we've got two Mez. This could be Knife Snag and Ska. WebZ as the resident engineer. Waz as the ammo disher outer. And Caddyshack as the lone oh, operative. God, and holy crap, look at everybody die. Raz doing a metric fuck ton of damage here yeah he's wow. just sweeping both sides of the objective yeah blg in order to be seen except raz there was four men put down um Waz, all he's doing is keeping this objective off balance they're not letting him set up and he's waiting for the four members of his team to back him up blg almost here we got snag carry sack ska and wubsy all coming around this corner there's no turrets down there's no mines down there's raz down though can can he hold off? He's behind the pillars, uh, if you will, behind the. Not a revive. Yeah, they're up. BLG's in full force right now. Yes. And they're repairing it. Wubsy's repairing the the bridge control panel. Nice. I, I I love that they are focusing on that. That being said, Raz getting a mine down right in front of the uh, the potential hack site. But yeah, did, did we ever see the bridge controls get completed? On, no. They didn't by by Hubris. Yeah. So, can I, can I fly out here? No, I can't. I, I want to, yeah, I, I'm trying to peek out and show people. Like, this is what this is what he's trying to 
complete so that these open up and you have access to this upper route as the offense. Um, sadly, I can't fly out of that room, it seems. Right. That being said, uh, Raz has set up mines right in front of each objective. And on hack objectives, I think that makes, you know, it's perfectly fine in my mind to put mines right in front of the hack point because as an operative, you pretty much have to step away yeah. uh, in order to find cover. So uh, a mine is quite effective. I mean, yeah, you can stand there, but you're extremely exposed, so. All right. Let's see where the next push is going to be coming from. We've got Ska. A, a pretty quiet. Yeah, we've got Ska, and oh, actually, Matt comes rolling through, walks in two, go, down he goes. Melikagoo going to do a Lazarus grenade, not able to get him up. And both guys back off. They're both very weak. Crow's going to come out and try to lay down damage. Actually, does not see where Kanishak was. He looked the other direction. And they are foregoing this. Um. Yeah, I, I'm a little bit curious. Let's see. The operative again for BLG is Caddyshack. Okay, so, yeah, they left Caddyshack up. That's interesting. And he's actually still behind enemy lines here. Yeah. Trying to kind of bait out when to go in. He's going to be looking for a nice nad to come help him out as a med. But it's going to oh, be a really open shot fight in the face. with Crow. And Crow takes him down. Lubsy, yeah. uh, making it up the middle right now. Oh, he's taken out by mine, though. He was going up the uh, middle stairwell. All right, now uh, positions-wise, what we're seeing out of Chump, it looks like he's kind of the upper tier, but he's um, trying to keep a, a keep tabs. Now, of course, this map actually gets a little bit easier for the defense once a hackbox is planted, in some regards, because you know you can you can make guesstimates about at least what classes might be entering which entrances, right. um, you know, and and prepare accordingly. Of course, it doesn't always turn out that way, but again, these are just guesstimates that you'd have to be making. As the defending team, and I get flashbang. Woohoo! Ouch. And there we go. Really nice mid control here for Hubris. Yeah. And Matt actually goes, uh, okay. He's gonna be putting more mines down, and we've got a lot of action happening actually fairly outside of the objective room. We've yeah. got a lot of Hubris pushing out here. Crow's down. Crow self reviving. Oh! Actually, he gets hit in the face with a nade or something. Something put it down. Ska is, is really just sort of nipping around the edges here, though. Um, and he's been joined we'll by Lubsy, right though. Now. We're pushing in. Wow, this is a mass, mass push. And oh, Chump wow. defends it all. Chump and Raz, look at that. Raz, Raz, and Chump just completely shut that down. That is fantastic stuff right there. Who is alive? Yeah. Uh, just Nobody. Just really good frags. Yeah. It's straight up fragging. So... Um, as far as routes, I mean, do you think we're going to see maybe uh, one of those core pushes? Uh, have they opened this up? No. No. They still haven't... I thought they were working on that. They haven't finished off the controls. The controls right now are really hard to get to for an engineer. Yeah. BLG right setting up. The enemy stronghold. I'm waiting for them to make their move. There they go. It's like the bridge controls are right in the middle of Mordor. Doesn't work out like that. <laughs> yeah, right. Sauron Which is, again, I'm like, if, if a skinny could hop through a window right. and start that construct, it would draw attention away. It would make that more of a fighting point. It would give the defending players more to worry about. And if they do complete that uh, objective, then the whole dynamic of, of the objective room changes. It really does. And I'm, I'm kind of thinking that, like, maybe, yeah. You figure out some way to get... Let me see if I can fly around, how much I can fly around here. I mean, because to me it looks like a skinny should be able to go over the little the little ledge by the window and then just hop right oh, in. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I've tried. I have tried. Oh, yeah, because <laughs> it looks like you should be able to. And I think you should be able to. Yeah. And actually, right. you know what I'd love to see? Yeah. Is like a hole in the roof. Yeah. You know? and that, that would be pretty damn cool. Alright, let me get back to the objective. <laughs> Uh, let's see, yeah, Huber's still holding it down. They've got 13 minutes and about 55 seconds to hold off. And currently they are leading by progress. By virtue of yep. getting to the final objective. BLG finally pushing in Waz and Ska from the... Oh uh, shit, which side is this? I got, got a little turned around. Um, I guess... 
the opposite side from what we saw last game. How about that? <laughs> Need to figure out how to uh, reference these things. Because, yeah, you know, I started thinking about that, like, when, when we started covering uh, Quake Wars, you know, the game had been out for a while, and people had already had their nomenclature sorted out. Yeah. Um, and it's one of those things where, like, I remember I actually, you know, we sat down, or I sat down anyway, and thought about, you know, what to call thing. And I haven't quite figured that out. And then, on the other hand, Splash Damage did not make it easy. Um, because a lot of these rooms have sort of the same features, and you can't really say, oh, okay, you know, like, okay, this one is V08, maybe that's the way to, to call it, and then this is ADV, or I guess it's just the texture backwards. Um, yeah. But maybe you call it the the 8 room and the 80, 80 side? One, one side has, like, these big, like, canister things. I'm yeah, better, yeah, the, the, the generators. The other side has, like, the pipes. Uh, yeah, things. okay, so I, I guess generators, generator side. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a good way to do it. Random pipe side. <laughs> Pipes that come out of a wall, go down the wall, and then go back into the same wall. Why not? Why not? Yeah, it's a really thin wall, too. Like, the size of those pipes, just look around the corner. There's no pipes there. <laughs> yeah, I know. It is pretty funny. Yeah. But it looks cool. It looks cool. It does. It does. So, there you go. I wrote an article about that years back. Yeah. I think okay. we'll just call it, like, generator and non-generator side, or... Genless. Uh, Vir virgin? I don't know. Virgin, get it? Vir the, the virgin side? Yeah? Yeah? God, okay. Uh, <laughs> we, we've gone like six degrees past plausibility. No good? Okay. Alright. We got whoopsie. I'm, oh, okay, I thought he was going to go do something sneaky. Uh, we have not seen a hackbox plant, so options are still open. BLG, yet to breach. Um, I'd like to see them take over the upper area first, to be honest. I think that's kind of the, the way to crack the nut. As I get flashbanged. Whoa, Really crow. interesting that they haven't made an actual plant yet. Yeah, exactly. Time is ticking, though. Only 11 minutes left to go. And there's only one turret down, I believe. Yeah, one turret, one, uh... Wow. Okay, I'm sorry, two turrets. I was like, there's two NGs, there should be two. Yeah. Does the, the turret have a decent vertical beam width for locking on? Um... Like, uh, Raz's turret up here will be able to lock onto somebody who's at the objective? Let's see where it is. Um, I think so. Yes, yeah. yes it okay. will. I think I think that uh, it, it does pretty well. I, I think the main thing is you have to make sure that it, like if it was further back, if it would be clipping uh, the the right. floor in front of it. But I mm -hmm. think from that from that angle, I think you'd be okay. Yeah. So that being said, BLG yet to lay a box down. They need to give that box some loving, as it's always very important to give the box loving. <laughs> Yeah, they had just some really good pushes initially, but now the map has just turned into the turtle fest that it's kind of known for. Yeah. Again, five seconds to the defensive spawn timer would fix a lot of the issues, I believe. I I, I, I think the only repercussion I of that would be... more than five on some maps, though. Uh, yeah, it depends on the map, but overall, in a general sense. But yeah, that would be a pretty critical um, adjustment. Yeah. But I, I am kind of hoping that, that we see kind of granular and tiny adjustments. Like thinking of, say, yeah. StarCraft II and the way that Blizzard uh, handles adjustments. They very rarely make big changes. That being said, Rast is being pressed by two on the upper level and is able to take both down despite one priming a nade. Raz is downed fire and looking to get a shot on. He's got everything covered, waiting for a revive. Killed by Chomp. Uh, his own teammate. Well, you know, Chump just tossed an aid and thought it was cool. He's like, sorry, Raz, but you get to sit on your ass for a minute. Melikagoo is laughing at him because uh, he could have revived him, but sent him packing. Now, Crow... 
has been kind of ducking out, but now he's running back going. <laughs> Master Payne's in town. No, actually, we've got a three-man push, four-man push from the left-hand side, from the uh, generator side. Nobody's They're down gonna... yet. Scott looking for damage. But here's the thing. Caddyshack, the operative, he's on the other side, which is cool, but he's waiting for a green light. Is that yeah. green light going to come and, when and the most... nades stop going up in his face? Well, and most importantly, waiting for the green light means not doing there damage. There we go. Look at that. Ooh. Operative sneaking behind enemy lines. The box is down. The hack is happening. And look at this jumping crow going, whoa, 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 whoa. We got Scott going around, but Scott's going to be backing on off there. Caddyshack defends Crowe himself against one, but not against two. Scott coming up though, he's making some progress up to this middle area. Doing some work on Chump, taking Chump down. He's gonna have to find. Oh, there we go. He gets a slide on. He gets. Melk, who is down. Wow. Scott is killing everyone, but Raz comes in from behind, flanks him. So that buff carb 9 is so hard to deal with. Now, if they didn't plant on the pipe side, it, it would have been much, much harder to plant on the other side because it's so well defended right now, but. Getting a hack in on this side is, is, in my opinion, so much more difficult just because you have the uh, the, the security spawn, I'm sorry, yes. the resistance spawn just right there with the stairway. And if they really want a machine gun nest. It is a security spawn. Security spawn. spawn. Yeah. Okay. You, you were right the first time. Yeah. Because security is trying to defend this resistance. They're on their suicide mission to yeah. destroy the world yeah. because they're assholes. Indeed. I mostly agree. <laughs> now, resistance was cool up until this point, though. I gotta say, yeah, Chen, Chen's badass. He has seen some shit. All right, here we go. <laughs> VLG coming through four-man push. The operative is down. Uh, down fire, looking for an approach, and he will be naded. It looks like Waz is one of the last men standing. Can he get in? I'm trying to chase him here. That's a kill. Oh no, sorry, that's Wubsy that got the kill. All right, so Waz is actually he's trying to get up the uh, up the maybe up the stairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he yeah. got to face off against Chump. Long range, gets some decent pot shots in, and cannot find cover fast enough. Will go down. He does uh, get Chump, but yeah, Melika Goo getting the revive. No harm, no foul. So yeah, I, I think we're in a bit of trouble here with uh, or as um, the. Uh, Wonderful toss spot, uh, one of the best enemy territory broadcasters would say, a spot of bother for <laughs> <laughs> for BLG, because they are caught between a rock and a hubris hard-on. Okay. Now, see, I see. don't know why that just made me hungry. I, I, I'm a little bit scared because, Jahar, your reaction was, ooh. <laughs> Ask Rotten Bros for clarification on that. That's all, all I'm gonna say. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, that, that's too much information. As she brings me noodles, hell huh. yeah. <laughs> so, Damn, man, all my this has been the biggest problem here on Reactor and before on Terminal throughout all the teams we've been seeing. The, the, the operative has been, you know, going for the objective, of course, and doing EMP grenades, but not much else, you know? No disguises, no, uh, no caltrops. No stickies. You know, you know, Caltrops are actually pretty damn effective. Ooh, Caddyshack got a little, little like something, it. something. But not well, necessarily. There's, there's a, there's a big issue here that we ha really haven't discussed. Obviously, the defensive team is camping, but nobody brought any marshmallows. There's no, there's no tents, <laughs> no campfires. Oh, those assholes! Like, yeah. They were not prepared, obviously, for what has become a huge camping, uh, defensive, just domination, really. So, damn, I was going to say something, but then you So, if the operative is going to be in the front lines along with everybody else, and he's just going to be part of the cluster rush, why not make him a heavy? Yeah. Because uh, heavies are slow, and you want him to be able he needs to, be to get nimble. to the objective as quickly as possible. Say he goes down, right? Yeah. He's going to respawn. You want him to get there in 15 seconds or 25 seconds. Right. Now it's kind of a big deal. Although you know, I, I I do really agree though the lack of uh, caltrops that we're that we're seeing, they are a real nuisance. That you know they, they essentially uh, for those that don't know they are a bunch of spikes in the ground, and it's kind of like walking on glass. Um, and as you step over them, it takes off a certain amount of health per you know each time you step on them. That's a really bad flashbang. There we go. Um, and so yeah, you know they they could do some. 
some, uh, I guess, area control. That's really what they're used for. You're not really going to get a lot of kills off of them, but it does make a defender, especially, think twice about setting up in a particular area uh, because they would have to damage themselves in order to step into that spot. So um, I, I agree with you, absolutely. Not to mention it slows down the movement speed. Oh, yeah, that too. Yeah, that, that's a good mention as well. That being said, I know that this is still early game time, but I, I'm trying to imagine how different it would look if um, if BLG spent the first, you know, three or so. Oh, nice. Pro but if they spent the res. first three or four minutes just aggressing on the bridge controls. Yeah. Uh, they were pushing an upper level thing was they never got that upper upper level again. I, yeah. I really think they would have gone for the bridge controls had they secured the upper um, level again, but they just were not able to secure it at all. I feel I just feel terrible for BLG because I've been in a situation like this. This map is just so defensively sided. I was actually really impressed by Hubris for how well they did on this first objective. Even though it took him a while, he had some really good initial successes. And so did BLG. Constructing that um, bridge control, I think, was a really smart move, and it, it really kind of sucked they weren't able to take um, the upper level yet. And yeah, that's my thoughts on that. <laughs> yeah, that's all I gotta say about that. Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> And I mean, BLG has been making a lot of pushes. They're, they're changing it out, but they just they don't have the heart. You know, I, I, but I almost feel like uh, maybe they gave up on the center corridor and the bridge controls a little bit too early, or maybe should have shifted to that uh, yeah. when they realized that they were banging their head against the wall. That's Even... exactly what they're doing right now. Oh, okay. I mean, what was the last time? I mean, they are banging their head against the wall. That's what I'm saying. When was the last oh. time we really saw them push down below? Okay, here we go. We got yeah. Scott and Waz, but Speaking what is of... their main objective here? They need to be able to take over the top platform. That is like got to be a key thing. And even if you're not going for the bridge controls, that's still a major place. I mean, otherwise they're going to be running into a mine at the very least. They know that, yeah. and then getting into a close range fight here. So, at best, if this is their plan, they're going to be tying up one or two uh, Hoover's guys, and that's not worth it in my opinion. Just to tie them up for a couple seconds. Indeed. Not if you're spending three guys to do it. Well, and, and one of those guys, you know, should be the damn operative to spot those mines. Yeah. Yeah, that's something the Hubers did really well is they used the operative down there to spot the mines and empty yep. them or grenade them and get them out of the way. Um, their pushes down there seem to be soldiers and medics, which obviously can't spot mines and they paid for that. Yes. Quite dearly. So, guys, uh, 38 seconds left to go. And the Caddyshack just runs in for a hack because he can, uh, but it's pretty ineffective. He's already down and out. That being said, uh, do we think Chomp got most kills? I don't know. It's, it's a tough call. Melty Goose has been pretty damn awesome as well. Yeah, it's, it's up between them, I think. Raz doing pretty well too, though, so I wouldn't count him out of the race either. Watch him be mad. Like, we just weren't paying attention or something. <laughs> All right, BLG making a big push here. We're seeing uh, three coming in through the pipe side. Molotov coming down. Um, the aggressor, uh, I think it was Caddyshack, goes down first. Damn it, oh. that was close. Yeah, game you over. Realize what you've achieved. All right, you so we have ourselves a setup back. for the finals. We know that Holly's team is already uh, sitting pretty after their victory against Exalt. And, uh, and actually, I want to yeah. thank them for taking the initiative to uh, play their match. Yep. By the way, best overall is going to be Chump, best soldier, Chump, uh, best medic, Melikaku, engineer, Raz, operative, Caddyshack, of course, and Raz will get the most kill award. Called nice. it! Yep, very nice, very nice. All right, guys, well, we're going to our finals now. Uh, hubris and looking for a sponsor. Yep.